Tweety is my cockatiel. I don't have any children of my own. It's a lot easier to look after a bird. Now that I have my own place, I can finally have a pet. With Tweety, it's all about how you treat him. They trust you if you give them time. I'm a creative person, an artist and a stonemason. I also want to write a book. I haven't led an easy life and at a point where I found myself homeless, I also became really ill. I was going to see my doctor for about two years. They said that I had piles and I got lots of treatment for that, including changing my diet. They were right when they assumed that I wasn't feeding myself well, so I spent some time getting my diet better. But it made no difference. In the end, I got diagnosed with bowel cancer. I've had depression for about 42 years, so a long time before my cancer diagnosis, I have been suicidal. The depression was always worse than the cancer. Although I'd been a carer for my mum for years, I don't have anyone to act as a carer for me. I found my relationship with my doctors and emergency patient transport frustrating and disappointing. I felt like a lot of assumptions were made about me because of the way I appear, and I often didn't feel acknowledged. There were a couple of times when things got a bit much. I was really struggling with things that were happening in my life, as well as my cancer diagnosis when I was trying to get a prescription. I ended up smashing a glass panel in a doctor's surgery reception door. I had reached breaking point and I just didn't feel like anyone was listening to me, even though I was in a great deal of pain, mentally and physically. That meant that I couldn't use the doctor's surgery anymore. The experience with the patient transport company meant that I was almost at a point where I wouldn't be able to go for my chemo appointments. They turned up early when I had been rehomed into a travel lodge. I didn't have any of my stuff ready, hadn't had a chance to tidy my hotel room and I was told I had 10 minutes to get ready. They didn't help me carry my stuff and I was feeling pretty weak. When I got to their bus they told me if they had any problems with me they would dump me in the middle of nowhere. They assumed that I was a problem. I met Amelia who is now my doctor in January. Her support has made all the difference. I have eight different medications to manage as well as chemo appointments and I find that difficult on my own. She always makes sure we have another agreed appointment each time I see her. Sometimes she comes to my home. Sometimes I meet her at the Elim Connect Centre where Catherine works. Catherine is an outreach worker that has been supporting me in lots of ways, including to help get to chemo appointments. Without Amelia, I wouldn't have made it. She helped me confront the issue that I wasn't suitable for chemo. She turned my situation around for me so that I could get the treatment that I needed. Catherine and Amelia don't make assumptions about me. I feel acknowledged by them and their support has made my chemo treatment possible. When I spend time with them I feel positive and not angry because I don't feel judged and they have taken the time to build trust with me. I saw two people who were working together and that were on my side. It's made such a difference to me.